אני רוצה לזכור מפסח, פרק ה', על אורי ג', מי שהיה בדרך רחוקה, ושוח טוב וזור קורא לו בזה אדם. אבל אני רוצה בדרך רחוקה, והם עשו את זה לקורא מפסח. וזור קורא לו בזה אדם, אז הוא עשה בלו, אבל בי שבו לערב, הוא עשה את זה לירושלים את נייט, לא היו רוצה, הוא לא היה מפלפל את האבליגשן, וחי בפסח שני, יש לו בגלל פסח שני. זה זה פעם למסוכם. בדרך רחוקה, אני עשו את זה Now in Omer Hurtso, he is Yotze, and uh, the reason he has to bring a second one is only because the Torah had Rachmanes on him. Rav Sheja says, Lei Hurtso, he's pushed off. So the Kesef of Mishnah explains that the Ram Paskins, like Rav Sheja's, even Lei Hurtso, because he's pushed off from Dinko and Pesach and Yudal and Nisim, because Halochus, like Rav Sheja's, be Yisurah. And uh, so the Rikorkus brings down from Toysus. Name of Baholoros Hagodolus. Lacha Mishnah questions. How can the Ramam make a differentiation of Pirush and Mishnayas between somebody who's Tommy Badera Choyke in the first one, that even if he was Mesa in the second one, he's Porto, and between somebody who was unintentionally didn't bring in the first one, that if he didn't bring in the second one, he's high, of course. Uh, that these are part of course, and these are higher because we just learned in the previous halacha he- he- base because it says that it means uh, always part of from chorus even if, in the se- if, the, if they uh, didn't bring the second one intentionally and if he's honestly shogi he has to bring he, the obligation to bring his honor and his high of chorus it's not mentioned in Gemara because I'm Nachman when it's in the Mishnah that somebody was in Tomei or B'dera Choyke and didn't do the Rishon, should do the second, would mean that if he wanted to, he could have done the first one. Now, Sheish says he didn't fulfill his obligations, and there it says, Shoge Goinenas, he didn't do the first, he does the second. And there you can't me- say that it means that uh, he was showing bananas, he couldn't have done it. He couldn't have brought the korban. Therefore, Avshayesha learns from the Sefer, the also Barishan, that means something you intentionally didn't do in the first. It tells us that even a mazid can do a Pesach Sheni. And the also Barishan is talking to somebody who, who was, uh, he, uh, he had somebody pass away on him on Yudala Benison. That he's Porto because he's Nenas. And, um, but according to Avsheshes, somebody who was B'derech Choyke or Itomai, others cannot bring for him the Korom Pesach. So Ashi says from the end of the Mishnah, there's a proof to these rules. It says, Eilub Tura Makos, Eilub Chayom Makos. What is it talking about? It's extra words. You already said who's Chayom and who's Porto. But it means to tell you that it's talking about mazed v'oinam that their chayiv because means that they are obligated in the second korm pesach and the others are not. So the mission says, according to Rav who so explains what it says in the Mishnah, these are chayiv v'mikores. It means mazed v'oinam, and also of Nachman. Was high, of course, only on Mezid, they didn't bring Bezer Sheni. So, from who did the Ram learn that the mission is from high, of course, that if you were honestly showing, since there it's talking about a Mezid, not about a somebody who was an Oinen, or uh, he unintentionally didn't bring it. I mean, his, 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 his sheep got, got lost. So, Lecha Mishnah says, all the words of the Abshesha of Nachman come to explain the Mishnah. Even according to Avnosim of Hanani and Akavya, they are of the opinion that if you're shogging Berishan and you intentionally didn't bring Bishani, you brought the Mikoris. So the question arises it says in the Mishnah, the Chai of Koris. If Rav Shesh and Nachman say the obligation of Koris is by Mezid V'Oinen, or only by Mezid, that they could have brought in the first one. According to Rebbe, the Raman Paskins like him, the Mishnah is explained in its normal fashion. You don't have to bend over backwards. Only somebody who was distant, or Tommy Berishan, even if he's Ezer Bishani, he's Potomikos. However, 
somebody who is shogging on Nana's Varishan, Behez of Bishani Chayyab because because Rebbe holds that that Shani is a regal that is set there, it was set up to be a regal, and who is it for? So somebody was shogging on Nana's in the Rishon, or amazing in the Rishon. Now, Seva Birkas has several questions, the same questions the Lecha Mishnah, on the Pirish Mishnayis, and the Rabbatah Nunur, they explain like Ramba, like the Rambam, they explain answers like him, but he adds, it would seem that the reason that he passed the Rambam passes is like Rebbe, is because the Mishnah is explained like Rebbe without any difficulty. The Chofetz Chaim also says the Rambam passes like Rebbe, because the simple explanation of the, Rebbe, of the Mishnah is like Rebbe. The Baal Ura Chodesh, Atam of the Slach, writes, I'm passing to Yerabi because the Tanoim uh, in Dav Tzadik Al Havaz agree with him in the, how to learn the Psukim, as we explained in Halocha Beis. We're learning Perik Hei Halocha Dalet. Tomei Sheyohol Yitoyah Bepesach Yishan. Tomei who could have become Toyo. Shalei Tova. He didn't go to the Mikvah. Let's go see what happens here. He didn't go. Eliyosha uh, betumose atcha ovas manakol. He just sat there, tome until the time went by. Chain oil. Somebody was uncircumcised. Shulei mol atcha ovas manakol. He didn't circumcise himself till it's too late, and he can't therefore be paris and made with liberation. Their law is as if they were amazed, and because you know, we learned in halacha base, if you intentionally didn't bring the first one, you can get you get the chorus off by bringing Pesach Sheni. If you didn't bring in Pesach Sheni, even because of Shai Yegor Onis, his Chayiv chorus, he didn't do the first one. Gezemesh, Mishnah cites the Brisa in Sochem 69b. I might think there's no chorus only if you're Torah and he wasn't there with Chachayka, but all the Tome Sheretz and any other person who's told me that they could have gotten Torah before Pesach. I don't know, you know, Yechai, of course, because it says, Rishah Shehoya. Mechaz Chinech infers from Rashi in Sochem because he could have rectified himself after the sixth hours, which is the sixth hour, which is when you can bring a Pesach. And he didn't do so. Because before the sixth hour, according to Rashi, there's no obligation on him to bring a Pesach. It's called Amazed only when he had the ability to go to the mikveh at the time of the Shri Tzad Pesach and further. But, but he, when he could have gone, circumcised himself before, that's not a, a, a considered Amazed. So the Nebuchadnezzar kind of questions, what's the dinner of somebody at the beginning of six hours? He could have circumcised himself or so went to the mikveh. But when he was going to the mikveh, it, he couldn't get into the mikveh. It was full, full or, or he, he uh, hit his head and, and, and blanked out. It was a shoygig, huh? Or an enas. It was called mezid or shoygig. The says it, it depends on the machloigis. The Mugan Avram brings down by tefillah. Me, somebody who put down mincha, and then he forgot about it. it was, he called a shoygig. Is, and he can therefore have my mind of two prayers to make up mincha, or he's a, intentionally, it's considered he intentionally didn't do it, and therefore he can't make a, have a make up tefillah. And that would depend on the machlokes of the poskim as to what the rule is regarding tefillah. The figo, therefore, he also says, Shani, I feel like you have a Therefore, if he was mazed, in the, if he would, could have, they could have gone to the mikvah for the chayav chorus. The Yeram codifies the halacha that anyone who was made in the first one, if he brought the sheni, he's brought from chorus. And Sefer Hamitzvah he writes, he's not brought from chorus. He writes over there, kishayz of Rishon, and he brought in the setting is chayav chorus according to Rebbe, because the sheni is not touched on the Rishon. And here it would seem it does rectify the first one. Seva Maisa Nisim writes, Rabbanin Al-Babali questions this contradiction. So the son of Abraham, Rabbeinu Abraham, the son of the Rambam, and he told him, uh, everyone agrees it's difficult. 
and anyone, everyone agrees uh, with this difficulty, but the Rambam changed his, his thoughts in Sefer HaMitzvah when he wrote the Sefer Yod HaZorko, and therefore the Rambam uh, ends, you can rely on the Chibur, which is the Yod HaZorko, uh, more so than the Mishnayas. And so you have to say that according to Rebbe, it's a, it has its own chorus only regarding somebody who was a shoyge. But if somebody was amazed, then by taking off the chorus, obviously it takes off both chorus or it takes off one chorus. But there's no chorus according to the Rambam.